Peter, officials say new staff at the department are increasing the amount of claims being processed. Thank you for joining us for this special edition of 8 News Now at 7 o'clock or 6.50 to be specific. <laughs> I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Denise Valdez. 200 new staff started last week and they are just plowing through a backlog of claims. Joe Moeller tells us how consolidating all those claims into one place may really help speed things up. In an interview Monday, Dieter officials talked progress. 200 welfare workers are now trained and started working on claims stuck between portals. They just finished their first week of uh, actually working on those claims, and they got through just about 5,000 of them. Saturday, the Alorica Call Center stopped processing PUA claims. Starting this week, all of those calls will be dealt with back at Dieter, something they think will help. And the difference there is... The folks who are answering the phones can also handle both PUA and UI questions and progress for claimants, and we think that that's really going to help. A mass disqualification notice will be sent out within the next few weeks for claims that are having issues with identity verification. This will disqualify fraudulent claims. If claims are not fraudulent, this will give people the opportunity to verify their identity. There'll be about 9,000 of those going out shortly. That's a uh, people that did not um, follow through with ID me and we believe almost all of those are fraudulent claims so it's significant progress they say disqualifying fraudulent claims will speed up the process for real ones as far as appeals go the notification system is being worked on and notifications should be sent out for those who appealed later this month we do have a team reviewing all the appeal requests and um, we're finding that about 25 to 30 percent of them truly have a, a decision that is appealable. As for the lost wages benefits, Camparata says they are testing the system that will disperse the funds. She says they also did apply for the second round of the benefits. In the next three weeks, people should expect to see this. They don't need to do anything additional to get the benefit. Reporting in Las Vegas, Joe Moeller, 8 News Now. Both the director and strike force leader uh, go more in depth on those topics you just heard about. You can watch the entire interview on our website, 8newsnow.com. And if you're out there looking for a job, there are several companies that are hiring right now. We put together a list along with links where you can apply directly on our website at 8newsnow.com. Just click